Curiosity got the best of me on this one, and we're going to find out why next on Mark's Lionel Trains. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Hopefully you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving holiday, that's for sure. Today we have something kind of interesting, and I was uh, kicked around buying it, kicked around not buying it. What we have here is the Canadian National kind of new tooling from Menards, a smooth side hopper. And it says it has die cast trucks, which intrigued me. And I uh, will take a look. Well, the thing that didn't intrigue me at first is the color scheme. I'm not really a fan of the rainbow color scheme, but I have a feeling that they might be coming out with some other road names, so we'll have to find out. So let's get this out of the box and take a peek and see how it looks. All right, and there is the top of the box there. You can see Canadian National Smooth Side Hopper, and then they have the, the same sticker that they have on the bottom of the on the side of the box so let's see we have the tape here no tape on the side okay oh, that's really on there good excellent okay wow pop pop goes the, <laughs> the blister pack and there you go there's your first look at the hopper interesting i am not sure if the Brake wheel goes there. I don't, oh, there's a brake wheel on the other side too. Interesting. I'm not sure if the uh, cars, I've never seen one with brake wheels on both sides of the car. I've always thought they were here, but I don't know. We're gonna take a look at this in comparison to Lionel. It actually has a really nice walkway. Uh, the top looks good. The paint looks really nice. There's the underside. Uh, the trucks are a little bit loose. We'll see how, how we do with rocking, but it's, that's not bad. It's uh, not a bad looking hopper. It actually looks kind of scale too. All right, let's uh, do some comparison here and get this on the layout and check it out. Interesting. Actually, I have to say, Menards did a fantastic job on this. This is a really nice hopper. For $34.99, you can't go wrong. And the color scheme is actually a throwback from the mid-60s when Canadian National was using their train cars as billboards. And this one signified different chemicals that the Canadian National Railroad transported in the rail cars. I found, I found that very interesting when I did some of the history. The perforated see-through walkways are a really nice touch, I must say. It does have roof hatches on top, but they do not open. And there's an overhead comparison of the Lionel car versus the Menards car. As you can see, the Lionel car does not have the perforated walkway. And there's a comparison of the thickness between the Menards car on your right and the Atlas car on your left. You'll notice they both have the corrugated walkways. And a comparison of the height between the Lionel car on the right and the Menards car on the left. And a comparison of the height between the Menards car on your right and the Atlas car on your left. The only difference I can see is this little hump here is a little bit higher on the Menards car. And there's your comparison of all three cars, the Atlas, the Menards, and the Lionel. You can see that the Atlas is the most detailed. Uh, even the Lionel has one little compressor thing, but the uh, Menards car is pretty much bare bones. They don't have any compressor or anything. I think that they probably would have been better off eliminating the other brake wheel and maybe putting a compressor on one side. And there's a look at the other side of the car, as you can see the Menards car is virtually the same, and the uh, Atlas and Lionel cars don't have anything on that side at all. So I don't know about the brake wheel on that side, but you know, most folks, folks don't even see the ends of the cars when they're rolling around the track, so it probably doesn't make a difference. And now we'll talk about the dark horse in the room, which is the Menards Wobble. 
and this one definitely has it. So we're gonna have to run this over to the uh, workbench and take a closer look at these trucks, these new trucks that Menards is putting out and see how we can fix that wobble. All right, and then we have the car upside down in my engine cradle. And you can see there's a Phillips screw right here that I hopefully just needs to be tightened and we'll be in business here. So let's tighten this down a little bit and see, and it is not tightening down. Uh, okay, so I have a feeling that there's probably a bolt on the other side of that. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove all these screws here. There's uh, four on each side. Fun times. All right, I guess we'll start with this one here. And hopefully these won't take real long. And I can't get my magnet. Let me recharge my screwdriver with my magnet. And hopefully that'll help. I, it's not coming out. Let's try the second one then. All right, fun times at fixing Menards cars. You know, for $34.99, I guess, you know, that's what you can expect. Let's get this one here. Have you guys seen the new uh, containers they're offering? There's uh, four new containers. I'll, I'll put them on the, up on the screen uh, while we're unscrewing these screws. So I'm probably going to speed this up a little bit, definitely, so we can get through this quicker. As you can see, I've got the truck taken apart. I have the truck off of the body here. And um, yeah, it's um, very, I don't know what they're, look at the size of that hole there in the middle. And um, you can really take a good look at the trucks now. You can see the spinning roller bearings here. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of plastic on the screw. It's almost stripped out. That's why it wouldn't let me tighten it. So I think, uh, oops, I'm gonna have to put in an enlarged screw in here. Um, only half of this had to be removed, so this is the only part that had to be removed, so. All right, I'm gonna have to investigate a larger screw here. Okay, the biggest problem that I can see here is this little part here that sticks up where the truck fits inside is sticking up too high. So what I'm thinking is to file this down a little bit to get that lower so that the screw can get more tension on this um, this piece here that it's riding against. And yeah, see it's an oversized piece if you can see that, it fits in the hole there. See it's oversized, so, and yeah, it's sticking up a little bit and that's not allowing the, the truck to, to fully seat. So I'm gonna sand this down a little bit and see if that helps. All right, I have uh, filed this down a little bit so it's not so high. I have also uh, drilled out the hole a little bit bigger so my larger screw will fit in there. And uh, let's try and uh, reassemble this and see if our work is going to be well or good, or good or not. I don't know, let's see. The flat screw is not as easy to get in to the hole as the Phillips screwdriver. That's for sure. This is quite the challenge. This might not be worth it for you guys to even mess with this, you know. This is a kind of a bad design in my opinion right now. Um, I'm gonna try and make it work, but I don't know that I would, I don't know. I may, we'll see how this works first. I, I may or may not buy another one of these. I don't know, let's see. All right, let's see if we can get this. If this doesn't work, then it's probably not gonna be worth it. So yeah, all right, let's try and see how we can see this better. And so you can see it better too. Um, yeah, I gotta get that screw down in there. 
sorry it's taken so long, but wow. This is not as fun as I thought it was going to be. I just thought it was going to be as easy, tighten down the little Phillips screw in there, and we're all done. But no, 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 no. That's not the way it's going to work. That's for sure. It never does. All right. God, that's really tight. That's a good appeal to tighten this one, that's for sure. Okay. Um, let's get the, keep the truck on the right side. Let's see. It goes on this side. Because once it gets tightened down, I'm not going to be able to move it again. All right. I'm going to finish tightening this down off camera. Okay. I think that might have it, folks. It's not wobbling as much, but it's still wobbling a little bit. I don't want it too tight or I, it's not going to work, you know? It's not going to... But I'll tell you, the um, to have a, these um, roller bearings on a $35 model is pretty cool. So, all right, let's um, put this back together. And um, maybe we can just do one side and see if that remedies the problem. So let's, I'm going to put this back together, and then we'll check All it right, out. The truck is back together. Um, what they're talking about, they have this swinging drawbar, like, much like Lionel has. Uh, it, it, it is longer than a regular car. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is still wobbling a little bit, but I want it to, to spin good. Let's tighten it a little bit and see if we can, see if we can get a little of that wobble out of there. Yeah, see, that's really, I don't want it to be too tight or it's not going to turn correctly. That's really tight. That's too tight. See, got to get it adjusted correctly. I don't really think this is a very good value right now. I mean, this is just more trouble than it's worth. All right, let's see what happens now. See if we still got the wobble. Yeah, it's still wobbling. Okay, I'm not going to sign here. Yeah, it's still wobbling. I, I might do the other side. I don't know. We'll see. Bummer. Well, I have to say that's kind of a disappointment. This is a really nice car, so it's a shame. Uh, maybe you guys can figure out a better way to fix it than I'm trying to do it. I just, in spur of the moment here, I just couldn't think of a... I know that one part is too high, and that's what's making the trucks rock. So maybe a washer in there might help, but then you're going to raise the height of the car. So uh, I'd have to give this one a thumbs down, at least on this uh, this model here. So, hey, you know, I tried, um, but yeah, it's a good experiment. So hopefully this will, uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys can try it and see, but at your own peril do it, but that's for sure. So I might try the other side just later as an experiment, but but we'll see, we'll see, it's not looking good. So, all right, I'm gonna run the trains a little bit and see how this guy does, and, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But hey, thank you all for putting up with this interesting, uh, unexpected video, that's for sure. So like I said, on Mark's Lionel Trains, we always try and learn something, and yeah, we learned something today, that's for for sure. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next video. <laughs> wow. All right. I also wanted to mention that the swinging drawbar could be a problem in reverse operations. It might push the truck trucks off the track. So just something to keep in mind as well. Interesting car. I must say we'll see how it does. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day. Enjoy the run.